What's up, baby dolls? I was watching the great show of the Game Theory gang. Shout out to everyone on there. And of course, they're dropping my name and stuff. And friends, uh, of course, if you've been paying attention to my videos, you should learn by now. Who's emotionally unstable, right? Who's actually emotionally unstable? Is it me, right? Who's literally got the same position here and there and dissecting all this information? Or is it the crowd seeing, wait a minute, candles are going down. And candles going up. No, but you said this, but you said that, okay? This is why most people don't actually make it, friends, because once you numb yourself too much to adapting to stuff going on here, you basically, you go from too much emotion to permeable, perma bag holder. That's two extremes, all right? Now, too much emotion loses, permeable loses, all right? Now, Bit, um, Bitcoin, friends, is like the only thing you can be a permeable in so far. And Ethereum. Look what happened to Litecoin. XRP. EOS, even though no one's in EOS anymore. Tron. This is what happens. Monero. The gains slow down over time. But guess what, man? Yes. See, when I say those names, you probably think, oh, don't talk about those Litecoin and other things that didn't move. No. People who got in early killed it. Early Litecoin miners, they're still dumping the inflation. They're making money. People who are in XRP, Ripple, they get all the inflation. They are still making money. They're dumping the yield on everyone. But the price growth isn't there. See, see, this happens in many things. Same as Dogecoin, Dogecoin mania, right? We Luckily, we had that in the last, last cycle. So I'm not saying that's going to be the future for Hex. I don't know, okay? I'm not saying it's going to be the future for Hex. But historically, statistically, with every coin, that's what seems to happen, where everybody who gets in early crushes it. And then there's diminishing stuff over time. And basically what you get is you get people who got in and they're earning yield. Now, the beautiful part about Hex is, see, with Litecoin, you have to be a Litecoin miner. With XRP, you can't even get the inflation. you got to be Ripple, right? They get it. But at least with Hex, you at least get the yield. You get the opportunity to be early. So, but the main topic I want to talk about, friends, is everyone always gets confused. But I just I just want to be careful, man. If you got your long-term stakes and stuff, that's okay, man. You don't have to do this. Just, I'm not making videos to basically be everyone's friend. Hey, I like you. No, 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 no. I have information here. I have a blueprint and a framework because I'm here 18 hours a day. And if you guys are just, if anyone's curious, like I can show you right now. So Hex is, look, I don't even have to prove anything to you. I'm, I'm gonna, we're gonna go through some things, okay? Look at cycle two, all right? Cycle two narrative, Hex. That's what it's been doing. Unable to move for a very long time, pretty much a year, okay? And by the way, this is still 96% down from the all-time high. And what I'm going to show you now is this is Bitcoin, right? So Bitcoin has gone up. The orange line is Bitcoin gone up. Now, if you do hex, combined hex, right? So if you combine the hexes, maybe you're like 1.5. Look how low I have to go, by the way, friends. Okay, congratulations. You're still here. So your chart and still there. You see that big discrepancy? But why is that, man? We know why, right? Look. Hex is cycle two now. It's a cycle two coin, even though people want to like say it's cycle one. But look, like once again, once again, if what I'm about to say offends you, that's okay, man. I tell people all the time, if you can't handle the heat, step out of the kitchen. This is just, I'm presenting this information here. If you don't like it, get out of here. I'm doing it for free. I don't care. So I'm just going to show you all of these things. We're going to show you other coins just, just to give you like an idea of what's going on. So that's cycle two coin. You're like, okay, maybe the rest of the market is like that. Well, not necessarily because there's pro Hex had product market fit back in 2019, 2020. Richard, as a genius, could pick the narrative and front runner. In 2019, right, he made Hex. He could see people want native trustless yield and DeFi. It is the future, right? So see, here's the thing, friends. I thought back then that DeFi would be a forever thing. I thought so too. But the market said, guess what, DeFi? You are just a seasonal narrative, which is crazy. You're like, what do you mean? What do you mean? Yeah, man. You got to think about what, what does DeFi mean? It means like earning yield and stuff. That's pretty much what it means. Also, DEXs, all that part of DeFi. So I'm just going to show you. What, like, there, I've already made a number of items listed to, to you all the times. What are set, cycle one narratives? Okay, so remember, there's, a, there's narratives and there's coins, all right? 
new coins are always better than the old coins on average. So you can be a cycle one coin, cycle two, cycle three. As you get older, you decay because they pretty much can't change a coin. They can't revamp themselves and you're always competing against the newest, hottest stuff. So cycle one narratives, they, if you're cycle one today, you are old in the next cycle. But that's why in every single crypto cycle, everybody who's in a narrative, they think they are forever. For example, privacy. Everybody thought, oh, everyone's always going to need privacy. Yeah, they always need it, but people don't want to speculate on it and keep joining in on the fun. So what's the biggest one right now? Clearly, it's artificial intelligence. All right, this is AI. As you can see, friends, AI is 22 billion. It's literally like the whole the sector itself is like five times bigger than Richard Hart coins themselves. So I'm just going to show you what AI coins have done. So firstly, let's just go and contrast it. This is Hex. All right, this is Hex. Hex is now it's in its second cycle. You can see... Hex is still down and it's not high. Now I want to show you a cycle one narrative coin. This is BitTensor. You see that? You see the difference, friends? This is like, wow, there's product market fit here. Let's put on a log chart. That's what you've actually been able to do. So that's since 2023, you were able to go up 16x, as you can see. So this, this is like the new stuff. This is what retail Wants, oh, we want anything AI. Now, obviously, friends, I know AI is a complete grift and it's all trash and they all claim stuff. I know that, but I don't care. I'm listening to the market. I'm saying, oh, what are you guys actually choosing? Yes, AI is like, by the way, go and tell every single retailer who owns these coins, try to convince them and FUD them out of their bags. No chance. The product market fit of AI is so strong and so hot that you'll never be able to do it, you know? Another coin you can look at is Render. I'll just show you another cycle one narrative. Wow, this coin is going up, friends. AI, do you see that? Look, Render actually broke its top. You see? These are, remember, AI, artificial intelligence, cycle one narratives. Okay, I can go down the list and show you many more. Look at this, friends. Fetch, right? Fetch, that's another one. You see that? Wow, look how much you're up. It actually broke the high. You see a common theme? Cycle one, cycle one. So, see this? Cycle one narrative. Cycle one narrative. There was AI in the words in some labels of 2017, but it wasn't a narrative. There was no product market fit back then. You see? Just like there was no product market fit for electric cars in the 1980s. Now we live in a different world. You got to listen to the market. That's why Richard in 2019, right time, right genius, had everything together, bang. All right. Now, once again, if, you, if you're getting scared, I don't really, I don't really care. I, I don't care. What I'm going to do, shut my mouth and pretend this is not happening. You can see all the green candles. Now, I'm not saying to sell anything. I'm not telling you to don't do any portfolio rotation. Don't do anything whatsoever. I'm just, this is my baby dolls that I'm showing you. Hey, guys, look at this. this and look at this. I can get a framework to help us navigate. Another coin, friends, AGIX, A-G-I-X, Singularity Net. Look at that. Another one. Wow. You have product market fit, don't you? 22X. See, every single AI coin has product market fit. I've already gone through the list. Artificial intelligence, clearly the biggest one. Now, I'm going to show you another cycle one narrative. Now, obviously, artificial intelligence is the hottest and biggest one. But now I'm going to show you other ones. For example, D-PIN. It's decentralized physical infrastructure. Okay, I'll call it decentralized penis because it's pretty much just what it is. But I'm just showing you all these coins. Man. This is our weave. Look at our weave, all right? Yeah, see, see our R weave. Yeah, it hasn't broken the all time high. But from the low, I mean, hello, you've done a big, nice, you've done a 12x from the low, right? That would be, uh, look, that's huge. By the way, off, off the very, very top, what did you hit? You hit 50% retrace. You see that? Only 50% from the top. That would be like hex hitting 25 cents. So, you see what I mean? So, cycle one narratives. I can go through this as well. There's decentralized science, and there's also restaking. Here's the problem with the restaking, though, that narrative. Yes, it's a cycle one narrative. The problem is, who wins in that? The VCs. You and I can't participate. Now, I know what you think. You can participate if you have a, a, a shill referral link and then people donate to through your Ethereum deposit address. So then they, all you're doing is you get staked Ethereum and then you send it to an address. And what they do is they give you the yield, but they go, hey, we're going to give you points. All they're doing, friends, they're trying to just get as many people as they can, so they can justify having a network. And when they have justify having a network, the market will try to give it a value. And then these guys, the VCs can dump and that make their own layer two chain or whatever the hell they want to call it. They can dump in the bull market. That's pretty much what it is. If you are one of the VCs who are in the inside group of this, you win. 
So all the, the gains go to them. And everyone else, look, you don't lose because you're handing in stake to Ethereum, which you're going to get back. So you get, yes, you get to sit on Ethereum for like one to two years. Maybe with the airdrop that they'll give you at the end, if you're lucky, maybe they'll launch it at the top of the bull. For every one ETH you put in, maybe you'll make like 30% return, right? Maybe make 5% over two years, they give you 20% on that, which is great. I mean, if you put in 100 ETH and you love ETH, you get back your 100 ETH and then 20 ETH on top or 30 ETH on top. But if you're in the right altcoins, friends, that one ETH, you're trying to turn it into like 10 ETH. So instead of making 30%, you're trying to make like 900%. But it's more risk. Of course, it's more risk. Right? It's for people who like, you know, pretty much binked it. So there you go. Cycle one narratives, artificial intelligence, decentralized penis. You have decentralized science, DESCI. You have restaking. Now, there are some hot ones that still have product market fit from last cycle. But there's a bit of a caveat there. Memes. You know memes, everyone loves memes. Why? They're so simple to understand. You don't have to explain to anyone. Oh, we all know, we love memes. This is fun. These things go up. It is what it is, okay? So do I have to talk about even Peppy? I don't really have to, friends, because everyone knows Peppy. Look at this, bang. Peppy and the Peppy means snap, went up 14, 15 X. You also, I mean, obviously Peppy went up even more, even from down here, April, 2023. How big is that? That's 43 X. You can see, right? Also dog with a hat, okay? Dog with a hat, obviously the most famous, famous example. You can see, I mean, it even broke the height again. I've got to redraw it. Wow, how long did you go up? That's what, 143, 149,000x or whatever it is. Like, it's just an insane amount. Dog with a hat, yes, crazy. Where? Congratulations to the dev, by the way. The dev tried to rug everyone and dumped $29,000 of this. If he held it, he would be worth $250 million today. So congratulations, Dev. You are an evil thief. I hope you look at this chart every single day and it haunts you in your nightmares because you missed out on $250 million because you're a dirty little G. See, this this dog. Everyone could have got in dog with a hat. Everyone. I didn't get in, by the way. Of course I didn't get in. So uh, did I did I know dog with a hat was gonna have product market fit? No, I didn't. I, but I know memes do. That's it. So you get to see that, friends. Now I've, I just want to show you back again. What I just showed you were cycle one narratives. You see that? Cycle one narratives. Let's go back to Hex, for example. P Hex. Cycle two. You see that? Cycle two, not moving anywhere. And friends, th there are many examples of other stuff that aren't moving that much either. This is Uniswap. Uni, friends. Uni's a DEX, right? It's a DEX. It could not, it did not go. If it was strong, maybe it'd be up like, you know, two or three times bigger. So Uni's a DEX. DEX is from the old narratives as well. There are other coins as well, alternative layer ones. There's many, many, there's things part of the DeFi credit category that they are now, so now, now uh, cycle two, narratives. And that's pretty much, now you get to see the picture. Okay, if you are in older stuff, it doesn't matter what the product is, doesn't matter what it does, doesn't matter what it is, it slows down, which is, this is, this is it. It's, it's like crypto moves way too fast to make up your mind about stuff for a long time. The who, who wins in in these crypto cycles, friends? It's people who commit to a whole cycle. So you know, even even this, even in the video, friends, I was watching, and like even in the video, friends, it's kind of funny. I, I found this. I'm, I, I'll be honest. I chuckled pretty hard. They said, "What's Sami's goal? I don't get what his goal is." Like Habib. Okay, let's play some Habibi Ali music for you, sir. Habibi, Habibi, Have you ever heard of Buy in the Habibi, Depression? Sell in the euphoria. Have you ever heard of that, friends? On my YouTube channel, I just searched buy depression, sell euphoria. This is every single video that's ever mentioned that. Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. Keep going, friends. Do you want to keep going? You want to keep going? This is every single video. I'm not making this up. I'm not making this up. Bang, 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 bang. <laughs> I'm not making this up. Look at this. We keep going. Is there a bottom? There is no bottom here. There you go. We went through like, I don't know, like 500 videos, buy in the depression, sell in the euphoria. There is only one thing in crypto that's pretty much guaranteed, and that is the cycle is beautiful and the cycle is fruitful, but you have to play the cycle. That's pretty much it. Now, I'm not, once again, I've got to repeat for the 10th time. I am not telling anybody to rotate out of anything or buy into anything. I've just presented information. And look, man, if that hurts you to read... What do you want me to do about it? Okay, it's not me. I'm, friends, I'm not the one who made the rules. Go talk to all the retailers out there who like say, 
real DeFi and yield and all this stuff. You go, oh, you know, that, I don't like that. I want artificial intelligence now. You go, it doesn't make sense. Of course it doesn't make sense, but it kind of does make sense. All right. I conceptualized this back in 2022 and 2023. I conceptualized it and I made videos about it. And I remember what I told you guys. I said, back when DeFi, and remember this goes for every narrative, payment solutions, privacy. Remember, XRP is, friends, is payment solutions. Payment solutions is like cycle three or cycle four now. That's how old and dog poop it is. That's why no one's buying XRP. It's still payment solutions narrative. No one cares about payment solutions. By the way, Ethereum did a payment solutions then, right? And privacy, that's why people aren't excited for privacy. It's old. So what's the crux of the issue? The crux of the issue is, and it makes sense, right? Let's go through it. I said, when crypto becomes popular in the media, everyone's alert and they look for, they look for, hey, I want a home somewhere. So let's use the DeFi example with Hex. Earning trustless yield. Everyone wanted trustless yield back in 2020. Well, when Elon Musk and all the popular narratives appear for Bitcoin and crypto, everybody in the world who is receptive to the DeFi narrative, the majority of them come in. How much? I'm just going to guess. Let's say 60%. Okay, 60%. So the first big wave is 60%. So there was no one looking and now there's 60% of people in. That's why cycle one narratives explode because now everybody who's looking for DeFi, whoa, now it's exploded. There was oracles, there was DEXs, there was all these other balance of DeFi. That's why Hex was the best performing DeFi coin of the last cycle. And Richard Hart was able as a genius to see it, right? Hit the target on the head. So that was basically what happened. Now here's the thing though. Now, when you go out to the marketplace and talk about DeFi, the returns on people coming in are much slower. Why? Because you already got most of the people in, which I know it's, it's people don't want to hear that because they think if I just told enough people about this, they'll all rush in. Look, man, I hate to say it, but that's what XRP's talking point is. XRP, they say, hey, we need to fix Western Union. We need to fix payment solutions. You know when they say that? I go, oh, man, you're still dealing with that old trash? That's like a nine-year-old narrative, bro. No one cares. Sorry. You guys got to adapt. That's what, X that's what happens to XRP, parents. Friends. XRP narrative, exactly the same. Payment solutions. We've got to fix payment solutions. No, you don't. <laughs> no one cares. There's other payment solutions stuff. It's not that exciting. We want AI. We want means. You're none of that. So that's pretty much where you come to. Now, it's, it's in a nutshell, right? So when we're talking about Bitcoin moving up, and rotating in, you got to think of it. Yes, the slingshot comes in, but there's only enough. It's like someone walks into the streets and they have a certain number of dollar bills in their bag. So the dollar bills, they're definitely throwing the dollar bills out. That's Bitcoin rotating. But what I've just shown you is who gets most of the dollar bills? You got to see it yourself. Cycle one narratives. They get most of the dollar bills. Now, I'm not going and firmer buying the top of this trash. Right, I'm not buying them. I'm just going to be watching them in the crashes now that we see. Right now, we're hoping, by the way, a new narrative appears so we can get in, kind of. Remember, we also have ERC-404, Gophers, but that's NFTs. Remember, friends, NFTs were new back in 2020 and 2021. Now, they're cycle number two. So you need some sort of edge here. You do need a bit of edge. But now you get to see, friends. I mean, I just showed you. You saw every single AI coin busting highs. Bang, bang, bang. Cycle one narrative, and then DeFi isn't. But DeFi is in the same game. There are other narratives no one cares about. There are like old gaming coins no one cares about. They're not doing anything. It has to be the new gaming coins. But like, once again, I'm not telling you don't sell. How many times have I got to tell you don't sell, don't do any of this. I'm just presenting information. I'm not going to shut my mouth and pretend I don't see this because everyone here wants to learn. They're like, hey, what's going on here? So that's why for me, I'm playing the whole cycle. Buying the depression, selling the euphoria. I don't care. Okay. I know how clear the signals were in depression. I knew how clear they were. Davy Soy Hoffman crying on camera, all these other things, okay? I knew how clear they were. I don't feel comfortable being staked, committed, locked up for a crypto cycle. I don't feel comfortable at all because it's a race against time. It really is. The product market fit, it's for today. It's always for today and then it starts decaying as soon as the next cycle is pretty much done. It starts slowing down. So, do you remember I told you there are people out there who have, okay, there, let's say you're talking about DeFi. 60% of the people who are going to get into DeFi, they came in in the last cycle. 
probably now 30% are going to come in. So you've already got 60% in, now 30% will come in. And then, and remember, friends, this is the important part. Those people who are coming in are laggards, all right? So effectively, what I'm telling you is people who buy Pulse Chain, which is an alternative layer one, that's also a cycle two narrative. Because remember, what was, friends, BNB, Cardanzo, Phantom, they were pocketing off Ethereum being expensive in 2020, 2021. That was a cycle one narrative, alt layer ones. That's why they went ballistic back then. And I bought I bought Phantom as well. So I, I can show you. Look at this. Back in the last cycle, friends, look at the moves back when we needed alternative layer ones. Look what Phantom did in the last cycle. Like, snap. See you later. What's this? 257X. See what I mean? And now, look, it's still, how much is it off the low here? Okay, you're up a 5.7X. So that's why you make sense. You're like, wait a minute. Back then, everyone was like, oh, Ethereum's too expensive. We need alternative layer ones. That's why everyone just give me every layer one chain. Now there's heaps of layer one chains. Now it's cycle two stuff. So to repeat, you had 60% of people come in. If you can get, if, you can, if you're on the right narrative and 60% of people come in, you basically, you retire faster than everyone else. You can retire in like a year. That's what everybody who bought AI coins at the low, they killed it. Because, you know, NVIDIA runs just happened, right? AI was a chosen narrative of this one. The next 30% that come in, they are enough to retire you. That's why my whole Brit videos, all my premises was buy in the depression. Because I specifically said, friends, I don't know what's going to be cycle one narratives. I've got no idea. I can guess. We can throw. I have no idea what's going to happen. However, if you do your research, which is what I did and presented to everyone, I said, and I showed, instead of expecting the same return as cycle one, which is what most people do, that's why they bag hold, instead of that, What's better is to buy more and front run the crowd because, sure, you don't get, this is for 98 out of 100 coins, you don't get the same return as your first cycle. It's significantly diminished. However, if you are going into a coin that has a cycle two narrative, it is still good for like one last cigar puff. It's basically cigar puff investing like Warren Buffett talks about. You're walking down the street, one good cigarette puff. You're like, you know what? Basically what you're saying is, it's it's literally, you're saying, well, look, you're not going to be around in four or five cycles. I don't need you to. But you, you, you're, you pumped in the last cycle, I think you're good for one last pump. That's effectively it. Now, whether you're right or wrong, that's why I've told you, do you want to be right or do you want to make money? Because if you want to be right, you know, there's this is the thing. I'm just talking, talking to everyone here. Everyone's holding, there's like 100 plus coins. Sure, maybe two of them are going to be the unicorn or one, but 98 won't. 98 won't. Absolutely not. So now you got to think about your odds. You go, wait a minute. What are my odds that I'm holding this thing? How's that going to stay relevant? I'm sure, friends, your minds are opening up like, oh, that's why crypto moves the way it does. People think crypto is more random than it is. No, it's not. Now, the narrative starting is random. That's the random part. That's like a, a spark igniting. Like how are you to know NVIDIA was going to go up and AI is the future? Like you have to be a real visionary to see that. You know what, friends? Let me tell you something. There is a Richard Hart out there in a coin, probably AI right now, and he could see AI was the future and he's binked it. I don't know his name. I don't know what coin it is. Maybe it's the BitTensor tower, guys, BitTensor. But I don't know. Just like how Richard Hart appeared in 2019 and he's like, people want native trustless yield. This is a better Bitcoin. Just like he came and he said that, a version of him has now appeared in this cycle. And then they're going to be AI. But guess what? You already know. In the next cycle, they're going to lose their effectiveness. They're going to be keep talking about AI and everyone's like going to be moving on to another narrative. No one's going to care. You see? So basically, now you, now you kind of see why main characters appear and they disappear. Because the guys who, the main characters in crypto, they have, they're visionaries for that narrative that they bink like a headshot, they get their, that target, they hit, they hit the headshot 100%. But then it, the, the cycle moves from you. It goes, well, you're not cool anymore. We're here for something else. We've priced most of you in. So now you have all these elements. And like, I, I, I just showed you the evidence of, this is what happens. Like, I'm, once again, I'm not telling you to, to move anything, but clearly, like, you don't need a genius to tell me, all right, let's put a three-day chart for, for, for PHEX, okay? Like, your all-time high is all the way down. Like, look where you are down. You, you just see, man, like your all-time high is 55 cents. You are down uh, 97 to 98%.
if if you had product market fit as any coin, surely you should be around here, halfway in the range. Okay, halfway in the range. Now, if you were AI, you'd be breaking the high. So there you go. AI is up here. Meme coins from the old season are here, and then everything else is down here. Now, don't panic, man, because look, I knew I knew this I knew this is a chance of this happening. I wasn't dealing dopamine, saying, oh, we're definitely gonna break the high. I just want everyone to know that. It's it look, you need to be a visionary to bink the narrative. Cycle one narrative. You you gotta be a bit of a visionary, you gotta be able to buck the trend early, and you gotta get the deals. It's pretty hard. But as a retailer or the average person, you can still do well. You buy in the depression. That's why I was like saying, okay, there's a community still here. See, here's the thing, friends. You can't buy every cycle two narrative and win of every coin. It has to be unique. That's why I found, hey, Hex community, you guys are still here. You're not going away. 99% couldn't kill you. So when the new money comes in, the new money, the Ethereum ETF and all this other stuff, you will still onboard people. But like I said, what if it diminishes? What if? Look, luckily for us, Richard Hart has Pulse Chain, Pulse Chain and PulseX. They have this cycle one narrative advantage, cycle one coin status, sorry. They are cycle two narratives. PulseX is a DEX. It's a cycle two narrative. Pulse Chain is an alternative layer one. Look at, look at Richard's marketing for it. Cheaper Ethereum, cheaper Ethereum. Okay, look, just news flash. There's a hundred cheaper Ethereums out there. Okay. And he's also, he's trying to do the cake yield with incentive token. But guess what? That's an old narrative too. Trust me, I'm just as confused as you are when you're hearing this for the first time. I'm like, there is no way people are going to like um, lose favor with incentive token and people handing out yield. Yeah, they do because the market learns, man. The market knows, hey, I'm here for a short time. That's what the market participants, I just want to buy stuff that's hot and they do that. And then here's the thing, you can't give them any evidence to say, oh, let's go back three cycles ago. Everybody thought, you know, another thing was hot, but luckily they stuck with Litecoin. You can't show them that, friends. Let me show you the Litecoin thing right here. So, you know, friends, Litecoin was literally store of value, right? Store of value narrative, faster Bitcoin, and look what ends up happening, okay? Look, yeah, it, it goes back to the high and comes back down. But look at this. Sure, people, look, if you didn't do your research, if you weren't in DeFi and anything else, there were people, all they knew how to do was just buy on centralized exchanges. Sure, if you load it up here, Maybe you enjoy your little return up there. It's not It's not that much, right? It's pretty much a failure. Wow, you get like an eight, nine, eight. And by the way, you're not selling up here. There's no way you're selling up here. It was like pretty much game over here. It was just a complete dud. But at some point, man, people were saying, don't worry, you know, don't worry about people. Like, by the way, I'm not, even, I'm not making this up. Go watch Charlie Lee's interview talking on about Ethereum. He made it back in 2021 or 2020, okay? Go watch his interview. They asked him, what do you think the future is? What do you think about Ethereum and smart contracts? He says it's not going to be around. It's going to disappear, pretty much. He goes, it's not in the future. He goes, decentralization stuff like Bitcoin and Litecoin are the future. He said that, how wrong he was. You see, so effectively, what he was basically saying in the interview was, don't worry about everybody wanting Ethereum and DeFi. He was actually saying that. He goes, this DeFi fad, it's just a fad. It's going to go away. Come to be, come to Papa. But here's the thing, man. He was right about one of those two things, though. He was right about saying, yeah, it was a fad. But guess what? Litecoin didn't even pump and then still dumped the same amount. You see that? See you later. So you're now seeing, right, even if we're correct about all these other stories being grifts, one cycle things, not going to last, you're correct. However, most of the time when people provide an alternative, it's in their already existing older coin and their older coin does worse than what they're talking about. Worse. The older coin doesn't pump and then it resets, it round trips the whole move anyway. So who's right and who's wrong? That's why right. there is no right and wrong, friends. I'm not here to, do you want to be right? Do you want to make money? There's no right or wrong. Luckily, I have a friend here. I can't figure it out. Wearing an olive green jumper right now, talking about buying the depression, selling the euphoria. I just I can't figure it out right now. So this is not even this is what uh, it's not even my opinion, man. Like, and you know, look, you know this. S more information, so everyone doesn't get spooked. Okay, in the Bitcoin halvening year, all right, in the Bitcoin halvening year, friends, only new cycle things pump. Old cycle stuff on average didn't. Old cycle narratives. All right, so let's go back to 2019, 2020. I was here. Okay, you know what pumped here, friends? Hex. 
Hex was DeFi. So DeFi. So you had Hex Pump. You had Oracles. You had Uniswap, right? Dexes. We had Sushi Swap, right? DeFi, Aave, Synthetics. All of it pumped. Cycle one stuff. You hear that? This is all new cycle one narrative stuff. Cycle number one narrative stuff pumped only. Only, okay? And they went ballistic, friends. Ballistic. Interesting. Ethereum didn't even pump then. It didn't even do much of a big move, okay? This is the synthetics chart, and you can see it. for Just for example, right? You can just see it right now. Look what it did. Synthetics 2019, bang, up the way to 2020, 40x, up to 2020. There you go, 216x. 216x, the only thing moving. And then this final residual pump. So this is this is where maybe AI is. This is what probably AI is doing right now. AI is going up and up and up. Remember, this is Bitcoin halvening gear. This is Bitcoin. So maybe AI just finishes up the year, and then there's just the final residual pump at the end. But here's the thing. On that final alt season move with Bitcoin, that's when cycle two stuff, the, gut, the gates open. That's because Bitcoin's price, I guess, is so high, everybody on the sidelines who are waiting for much lower prices, they can't take it anymore. They come in and they're like, give me stuff. And then people, they only remember from like, okay, DeFi is good, DeFi and money markets and all these because they just know these talking points from the last season. Do you understand that? And that's where basically, but it's the end. It's the end. You're only good for one pump, friends. You're only good for one pump. You don't get these multiple series of stuff. You don't. I wish you did. I wish you did. <clears throat> so in a nutshell, you're not you're not crazy for buying cycle two narrative things, but you bet you better pick a good coin. You better. And luckily, I guess for hex the community and everything, it's a unique circumstance. No, unique. It's a strong circumstance. There are cycle two stuff they've I thought about long enough. I'm like, oh yeah, you guys are pretty much doomed because you're just trash. For example, all right. So you can see this big difference: black and white contrast. Cycle two narratives. They're not bad. You still make money on them. However, you got to go hard. That's why I've been telling everyone, how am I, how aren't I the most bullish guy on the market? Because you're not bullish just because you say, oh, this thing's going a thousand bucks. Oh, Hex is going a hundred bucks. You're not bullish. What, telling everyone, oh, raise your targets. It's not bullish. You're not bullish. You're just buying. That's buying. What do I tell people? Buy more. Buy in the depression. Maybe people's targets don't get hit. Actually insert money and buy more. That's what I've been doing. That's what I've been doing. Now, I wish I could tell people, I wish I could go back in time and go, oh, I wish I picked the narratives, but I know it's very, very hard to do that. Very hard. You know, here's a sad part. The people who picked DeFi last season in 2020, they completely missed AI and they missed DPIN, <clears throat> they missed DESCI, they missed restaking too. And actually, no, no, some of them did get into restaking, but there were all the Ethereum maxis, they got given allocations. So do you see how hard this game is, friends? It, people who are hot in one season, they don't have their flair in the next season. That's why we always have a constant stream of bag holders. People who are following someone who used to be right about everything. They had their finger on the pulse. And now they're like, oh, kind of shifting away, right? As you can see, friends, even like Richard was thinking about, oh, should we make like Inca meme coin and stuff? Because you're seeing meme coins have a product market fit. <clears throat> and you, look, you can't deny this. Uh, Shib and Doge went up more. And then like the Doge, Shib went up more and then dropped less. It dropped less than Hex. Explain that. No yield and stuff, but you can see why. There's, there's still product market fit for memes over time. So after you see this information presented to you, yes, now you just you get to see. You get to see it for what it is. Once again, you can make your own decision here and there. I know what I'm doing, though. That's why I always have 90% call, 10% lottery. All right? <clears throat> That's what I'm looking for. I'm looking for AI stuff. I mean, launch pads and stuff that try to participate in them. Gaming as well. I want gaming, but I want new games. That's what we're doing in paid launchpad. They do some gaming here and there. Now, when you see the markets like this, you win, but you also have to have an appreciation. Yes, it's a garden and you water it, but if you stay too long, the weeds grow out and they start wrapping their weeds, start wrapping themselves around your ankle, friends, and grow some thorns if you stay too long. If you overstay your welcome in crypto, that's that's pretty much it. So, <clears throat> yes, I'm, look, I know, trust me, I, I, I lose sleep every night and I'm like, damn, it's everything's a, a racing clock, pretty much. It's a race against time. You're cool now. You're gonna be old later on. It is what it is. That's why, personally, like, look. Do you know how Hex is gonna do in its third cycle? That's the next one. That's why I'm like, whoa! In the third cycle, unfortunately, it just lines up. There's a lot of ten-year stakes coming out, eight-year, nine-year, ten-year as well. How's that gonna go? I don't know. I've got no idea. 
What if it's not cool anymore? That, that's why, man, I made videos saying, hey, honestly, you guys want to, if you really, really want to get Hex to get a resurgence pump, <clears throat> Richard, just go make another coin. It buys Hex one for one. Just do your marketing. It's an artificial intelligence coin. There you go. Bang. Artificial intelligence. Just get all that market share coming in. Because let me tell you something, right? Artificial intelligence is already 22 billion valuation. 22 billion market cap. Imagine Richard could just tap in to 5% of that. 5%. 5% of a billion market cap, that's like 100 million inserting in the liquidity. That's like, it's huge itself. But, you know, maybe he's a genius, not me. So he's probably said, you know what? That's too much effort. Why don't I just stay long Ethereum and I ride the Ethereum ETF and I rotate in? So obviously he's the billionaire, I'm not. But <clears throat> you have to think about this, friends. You can be quick on your feet. Whales can't. All right, so there you go. This is the whole blueprint, everything you've seen, and now you can run with it. Make sure you like, subscribe, catch you soon.